shot with that. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking you through a chest session. It's going to be a chest only, so we're focusing on the pecs alone. Uh, the way we structure in this session for myself, um, we're not doing the usual hypertrophy setup. I always recommend starting with an isolation. Uh, but today, we just wanted to go back in, to be honest, and uh, go straight in with the press. I have done that myself for the majority of my prep, simply because I do connect very well with my pecs. Um, but being that I haven't actually trained, trained chest uh, consistently now over the last couple of months I'm actually finding that I'm relating a lot to my clients where, when they say that they can't feel their chest and it's the first time it's ever happened to me simply due to the inconsistency I've had over the last couple of months um, so going back into it now that's definitely the way I'll be structuring my setup again I always recommend doing that starting with an isolation such as a pec deck um, or a cable fly just so that you can get blood into that muscle fatigue that muscle a little bit as well so when you move into a compound movement a compound press the pecs are going to be the first thing to fatigue, providing that is your targeted muscle, which it is for today. But anyway, like I said, that was irrelevant for today because we went straight in with the press and due to that, I didn't get the feel from it from the big presses as I usually do. Um, so I've just learned the lesson again myself and it's just reiterated why I do what I do with my clients that can't feel their chest. Um, so that's definitely something you should do. Then uh, we moved on to another machine press, so it's taking the stability out of it with the machine. So we like to do the compound first when we're fresh. Uh, then we move on to the machine, so it's a similar sort of press, but a converging press. So it comes in in the middle, you can get a deeper contraction, um, bring the pec much shorter, um, so these points come to closer together. Then we moved on to a banded dumbbell fly. Uh, the reason being, I'm always, I've always been a fan of free weights, although there are ways to make them better than just using the old school way. Um, the problem is with the, um, the resistance profile of the exercise, when you compare it to your muscle when it comes to the top and obviously because of gravity you almost lose all tension um, it's just simply going through your joints to that point when it's up there um, so we that's where we add the band in which adds more tension as you come closer in at the top and the band stretches um, you don't want to use uh, too much of a heavy band or it'll flip it'll flip the profile around and it'll be too hard to even come to the top so you've got to kind of find that happy medium and lastly we just moved on to a d-handle uh, cable fly using the setup of the seat at 90 degrees um, and the cables just in line with our shoulders so as we come forward it's, it's, it's got a slight bit of a decline to it because that's the way the packs do move so yeah that's pretty much it it was literally four exercises um, because it was only four exercises we did have three sets on a few of the exercises you know I'm usually a big fan of the two set top set and back off but for this getting back into it um, it's actually something I want to talk about quickly is when you're starting off with a client people get the wrong impression they think that you'd have to do less and work their way up um, so for example you'd start a client off with just one set and then two sets as they get deeper into their training age however it's actually kind of the opposite because the accuracy um, of the client with their training is very poor when they're first starting off they can't get that connection whereas a very advanced trainer is not only much stronger and shifting heavier load but they're also far more accurate. So they can do one set and get the same stimulus from one set as a complete beginner would get from four sets, which is quite sloppy, usually quite poor tempo, poor exe execution. Um, so you'll actually see me, when I'm starting with a beginner, I'll actually usually program them three to four sets, usually of quite straight sets as well, just so they can build up that same sort of mind muscle connection and over time you actually end up reducing the sets down because they become more accurate they become stronger they then f uh, fail to recover from four sets so you have to bring it down and down and down um, which is actually the flip side to what most people think so that's a good little tip as well to think about when you're programming your own training so yeah that was the chest session wrapped up there um, with myself now I've actually built a power building program so you all know I'm a fan of lifting heavy weights but I want to do it in a, in a safer fashion now and now that I'm not actually looking to blow up in size that's not the goal i'm not actually competing in bodybuilding anymore um, so i want to get the most out of what i've got right now and that's why i'm going to structure i've structured a 12-week program where you insert your estimated one rep maxes it's using percentages for the compounds we're working with reps in reserve and using the rpe scale and then for the remainder of the session it's actually moving on to a, a far more specific hypertrophy program compared to usual assistance work in a powerlifting program so it's going to be very interesting and i'm going to trial it myself for 12 weeks 
to stick to it. Um, it's four sessions a week and then it leads into three sessions a week. Um, so yeah, if, it's, if any of you are actually looking to jump on board with this, I am looking to take on three clients that I will coach through the process um, and work with them on that. So they'll be part of PB Fitness Academy then and we'll get you through that. So yeah, I'm only going to do that with three people because like I said, this is, this is I'm trialing this program and it would be great to trial with other people as well. Um, so yeah, get in touch if you're thinking about doing that. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. That's my plans for now. I want to get the most out. So hopefully, because over the last years, because of bodybuilding, I haven't actually been going down to the you know the, the the three rep ranges, four rep ranges, or or even two reps, getting doubles, you know. So it's going to be exciting to work my way up and get to do that in a safe fashion, um, because you really have to prime your body over weeks to get to do that safely. Um, especially when the stronger you get, you can't just go in and just lift something. Um, you will end up hurting yourself. So, yeah. Um, the way you could think of that prep as well is thinking about warming up before a session. You've got to warm up over the weeks and get used to that weight and that load. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's the plan. So make sure you subscribe. Comment below if there's anything specific you want to see going forward. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.